So here we are at Tinton Abbey on our way to join the Four County Bikers for a ride out. Now, those who don't know who the Four County Bikers are, they're a big group on Facebook and they, um, pre pandemic, used to organise massive ride outs. On the weekends, you'd get 60 or 70 bikes going sometimes. This is a midweeker, it is a Friday. Uh, they tend to be a lot smaller, there's eight of us out, so that means it's going to flow better. So, no one man drop off. We are heading for Abergenny Benny first, and then up over the Gospel Pass, which is, I think, the highest pass in Wales. Just thought it was up in Snowdon, wouldn't you? But no, it's in South Wales. Oh yeah, a bit about the four county bikers. They are a, um, a, a like a riding group, not a club. No patches or anything like that. No, uh, well, I've got to dedicate a certain amount of time to them or anything. If you can make a ride out, you can make it. If you can't, you can't. It's just a group of friends riding together. It started out as a group of friends riding together, but it's got pretty big, especially on Facebook. It does get skinned back now and again because for all the, the Facebook creeps over a thousand, at one point it was at 4,000 members uh, and the most you get on a ride out is 60 people maybe on a really good summer's day which is still a lot of bikes right which is where the one man drop off system becomes essential then to keep everybody riding tidy and they do have rules as well, no overtaking within the group unless it's a, a one to five or unless you're invited because the pace is getting a bit quick for someone to stop uh, daft riding it's not a fast especially when you've got the big numbers but even when you're in a small group it makes good progress but it's not crazy fast so if that's what you're looking for this isn't it when you get a lot of bikes riding together trying to ride really fast with mixed abilities always ends a disaster so if you've never been on a group ride before, Four County Bikers is a good group to do it with. So they do have a set of rules, if you've got to join for the first time, when they do the bigger ride outs on the weekends, they meet generally at the Masons, and at wherever they start their ride, um, they have like a pre-ride brief where they go through how the one-man drop-off system worked, and what the rules are, and point out who the back marker is to look for, so you really need to go to that for the first time. Once you've ridden with them a couple of times, depending where the route is, if it benefits you to, to join at the first stop or like you know once they come over the bridge and that's fair enough sometimes we do that It is currently August the 12th. We are in the middle of our second uh, heat wave in the UK. <laughs> we toured North Wales on the first. <laughs> so we're getting plenty of stops in the day. We stopped in Tinton in the old railway station for fluids and a cake. We stopped in Lamb and Flag for a quick drink in Abergavenny. And we're stopping in Bronlis now, our main stop. Stop here for an hour in the honey cap, have some grub and some more drink before we do the main event of the day. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, so we've had lunch at Honey Calf and we are now going to head up over the Gospel Pass. Casey had a half day at work today and joined us at Bonley at the Honeycast. Once you get part of the way up, there's a viewpoint up here. Usually stop on a, well I say usually, I've only done this one before. We've stopped on a light up here somewhere. It's a hell of a view, isn't it? Kirsty's favourite here. Come on, Phil. This road is rough as a <laughs> though, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. And with all the horse poop in the middle. Yeah, you wouldn't want to do this in the wet. No. Devil's Bridge is a child's play compared to this, isn't it? Not Devil's Bridge, Devil's Staircase. Mm. It's child's play compared to this. This is proper single track as well, isn't it? So is Devil's Staircase, but it's not as coming as it is. Yeah. In the wet, that would be, well, it'd be lethal in the dry, it's absolutely lethal in the wet. Yeah. It is a little bit cooler up here, but it's still sweltering, isn't it? <laughs> it is. Proper scorchier. And uh, it is well in the 30s. It might just be just below 30 up here. Yeah, it's a little bit cooler, isn't it? We got our camelbacks on for hydration, it's that hot. The group has stopped three times so far. We'll probably have done five stops by the end of the day to make sure everyone stays hydrated. I said 
said, oh yeah. Have I got to leave the action or something? No, I was drinking. No, no, don't go in the middle. Whoa, oh, 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 dead. That was a proper pile of bloody... It was, I was inches deep then, that barrel. Yeah. And it is beer again as well. F***ing hell. The problem yeah. is when it's in the shade you can just barely see it, can't you? What? You can just barely see it. Uh, imagine you're on a bike with a dirty screen on. Oh, oh f Oh, yeah. oh God. Oh, oh f Be lucky if that one didn't just pop my tyre, I heard a f***ing pop then. tyre is looking okay. Didn't have a choice then, it was a big hole or f***ing right to f***ing six inches of f***ing gravel. Yeah. This is what I mean when I say the f***ing south side is worse. This is why they always do it this way, because climbing this side is a nightmare. Yeah. You catch that gravel when you're trying to drive. Feels like a blooming safari on motorbikes, doesn't it? It does. All the dust coming up, doesn't it? Dust like through the trees, it's like we're in a jungle. Not on a dirt bike, not on a dirt bike. A knife f***ing fill in. Oh my... Jesus Christ. with the cellar bar. Sorry people. <laughs> I am trying to pronounce things properly. And bloody more gravel.
So that is Lanthony Priory Hotel up on the Gospel Path. Used to be some sort of monarchy or abbey by the look of it. And there's now a few rooms and a cellar bar there. It's a lovely place to visit if you're prepared to tackle the Gospel Path. campsite there as well yeah I was just thinking that <clears throat> this is very pretty Oh nice, a takeaway cart and rolling down the road. <laughs> <laughs> 